Catholic Daily Journal for Saturday, January the 12th, 2019. Today is the birthday of French literary pioneer Charles Perrault, who invented the fairy tale. He had grown up with folk tales that the old told to the young as amusements or to teach lessons, and he wrote them up into real stories with characterizations and names. He was a hundred years ahead of the Brothers Grimm, and we have him to thank for Little Red Riding Hood, Cinderella, and Sweeping Beauty. G.K. Chesterton argued often that fairy tales and folk stories were, in fact, the single most important literary genre in human history. Charles Perrault was born today in 1628. Happy birthday as well to Sir Edmund Burke, born today in Dublin in 1729. His family was originally from County Cork. He was a popular speaker in his native Ireland and was elected as a Minister of Parliament for the Whig Party in 1766. He served nearly 30 years in London, and despite being Catholic in a very anti-Catholic country, he made great strides, arguing for a deeper understanding of human nature in civil law. Burke was a supporter of the American War for Independence, and he effectively founded the pro-democracy philosophy of government that is now referred to simply as British conservatism. Today is the anniversary of the death of the great foundress of the Francophone Catholicism in Quebec. La Mère Marguerite Bourgeois was was born in France in 1620 and made her way to Montreal in the New World to serve the poor. She established a connection with the Ursuline nuns and established a small convent to operate a girls' school focused on educating the Native Americans there. Marguerite was a real innovator in that she pioneered a type of religious life for women that wasn't cloistered. In basically all religious communities, even those attached to mendicant, that is non-monkish orders like the Franciscans and the Dominicans, the women's orders were cloistered meaning that they stayed in a convent and didn't leave that convent beyond operating the hospital or the orphanage or the school that that they worked. The women of the Congregation of Notre Dame de Montreal weren't cloistered. They served the poor and needy in the streets. And by the time of Mother Marguerite's death today in 1700, her congregation was thriving and operating schools all over Quebec. In fact, if you had been listening to these words 50 years ago, I would be saying that Quebec is the most thrivingly Catholic and spiritually potent former colony in the world. Sadly, these last 50 years have been a disaster thanks to a series of apathetic bishops experimenting in clergy and so-called innovations in the religious life. Today, less than a quarter of the Quebecois consider themselves religious, and most of these are older. In its golden age, though, the congregation of Notre Dame de Montreal changed the new world under the leadership of Marguerite Bourgeois, who died today in 1700. Finally, on a lighter note, today is the day in 1966 when a young Adam West put on gray spandex and a silly mask alongside Burt Ward and Cesar Romero to play the caped crusader. Batman ran on ABC for 120 episodes, always at the same bat time on the same bat channel. It was the only sitcom on ABC without a laugh track. And the show is remembered for being deliberately campy and for trying to teach simple morals, as well as for emphasizing to the point of parody the importance of using seatbelts, doing homework, eating vegetables, and drinking milk. And of course, it had a classic TV theme song. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.